Review is the fourth step in an environmental and social impact assessment, or ESIA. Its objective is to verify if the information is complete, correct, and relevant for decision-making, and to check if the ESIA process has been carried out timely and in an inclusive, participatory way. Once the proponent has submitted the draft ESIA report, the Environment Authority starts the review process. The draft ESIA report is made available for the public to comment. Depending on the country's system, the Environmental Authority establishes the review team, which may include other government agencies, external experts and stakeholders. Preferably, this includes multidisciplinary and independent expertise. The team assesses the ESIA process and the draft report against the terms of reference prepared during scoping, the ESIA framework, stakeholder comments and other agreed criteria. The reviewers may use a combination of methods, hmm. desk review, site visits and stakeholder consultations. The team presents its findings to the Environment Authority and recommends either an approval of the ESIA, a rejection, or a request for additional information. It is good practice that the findings only cover the quality of the ESIA, not the acceptability of the project. Preferably, the review report is made available to the public. Following the review, the ESIA report is finalised and ready for decision-making.